The last honeycomb structure I'll show you is this one. So we're using the white warp and the white as the outline and the yellow as the contrasting thread for the cells. So the structure for this one, well, let's start with the white. Let's start with our up and down shed. Then we'll go to the down shed so that we can do our pick up stick A. And the structure for this one I have chosen five down, three up. One, two, three, four, five down, three up. So what I would like for you to do, perhaps after you've tried these initial structures that I've put together is try making your own structures um, and just see how it turns out. Um, I mean, there's, there's no real right or wrong with this as long as you follow the basic rules, but try some different pickup patterns. Um, you know, try two up, three down, try six down, one up, whatever you want to try. Um, try some different colored yarns, just, have a go and, and see what happens. All right, let's start now up shed. Bring the pickup stick A4. And I've got this tiny little cute shuttle from one of my daughter's tapestry looms, which is just perfect for this type of project. Okay. Edges are fine. Remember to check edges. Up shed again. Now I'll check my notes how many times we're doing this this time. Yeah, we're doing four. So that was one, one sequence. This is two. Okay. Up, pick up, stick forward. If you haven't watched the particularly the first video on honeycomb, have a look at that first because I explain more in that video than in the subsequent ones. Okay. That's three. And that's four. So that's our pick up stick A sequence. So to tie that all down, to go in between before we bring in pick up stick B, we bring our white yarn back in, same as our warp yarn, and do a simple up down shed. Now we can bring in pick up stick B. So down shed for that. Leave A there, it's not a problem. And the sequence for pick up stick B is five up, three down, which is the opposite of what we did for A. Three down. Just use my spare shuttle to transfer that to the back. You can just pick up from the back, but I find it much easier to pick up from the front and then transfer it to the back. It's just a much clearer way of doing things, I think. So we can start with the up shed. I can put the white one aside. I don't need to use that for a minute. And slide B stick forward. Uh, we might have to consider our edges here. I'm fine on that side, but on this side, um, I'm going to have to have a look and go around it. 
Okay, so I just go over the first edge thread and then through the shed as normal. And then that ensures that we catch on this edge. Okay, so that's one. Remember we're doing four. Two. quite like the look of the the white and yellow it's it might be a little bit harder to see on camera because it's a bit more subdued but I think especially a, a really strong yellow with the white would be really effective okay that's four and so now we'll bring back our white and go through again with our simple up down shed And that's it. Now if I was going to continue this pattern, I would be taking pick up stick B out and I would be doing the A sequence again. And then after that, I'd be going on with the B and I just continue on in that same way um, until I'd woven as much as I wanted. So I hope you like honeycomb as much as I do. And, um, and I hope these variations help you to get started and inspire you to make your own variations as well. So good luck with it.